What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this planet we send it and what we're going to be getting today well, we're going to be harvesting my potatoes. I anticipate this is going to be a pretty easy quick and down and dirty video of just you know seeing what we got here but uh, you know there's a couple of things that are specific and maybe unique and I'm really not anticipating too much greatness from this potato harvest like I'm about to explain but I think it's at least something just to kind of break it out and do its own video so all right I got a plan in place let's go ahead and send it the girls are talking just a little too loud so we're gonna have to go ahead and bribe them so I can get to the real first step so let's go ahead and uh, give them some quick uh, pop worms or some worms real fast and uh, keep them quiet so I can do the next set All right, now that the girls are fed, let's go ahead and move right on over here to the chicken manure. So the girls are actually getting loud and forcing me to feed them so I can do this next clip I actually kind of helped out because they are center stage on where I got my soil. Explicitly, with the combination of the chicken manure along with the wood shavings that I put in there, carbon plus nitrogen equals soil. So that's pretty much all that there is to the soil I've been using it. So that's actually kind of why I'm not really anticipating the soil biology to be that diverse and and I, th and I think the harvest of potatoes is gonna you know not be as great as if I did it in the ground but I will say at least you know even though it's pretty simple again just the chicken manure and wood shavings there would have been quite a few worms going through this and maybe that kind of added to a little bit extra but um, I'm not anticipating it to be too great on this harvest. And another reason why I'm kind of doubting that I'm going to have a great harvest is because it seemed like the foliage, you know, the, basically the plant life above the soil, died off pretty quickly this time that I've seen in the past for my in the ground garden. With this one dying off first, as you can sort of see, it's pretty much just shriveling up. So that's definitely a sign that it is now time to go ahead and harvest. And you can kind of see how this is towards the end um, to where some of the some of the plant life, some of the stems going into the soil are still pretty much there, but are dying off quickly. So it's time to go ahead and just harvest. So many of you that have been watching me for a while know that I do permaculture style gardening. Now, I only highlight that not to necessarily get into what permaculture is, but to highlight what I'm doing right now is not permaculture. This is a lot more involved, although I did kind of just set the soil in there and let it do its thing and now it's time to harvest. This next few steps definitely are it. Um, number one, growing in a bag, not permaculture. Basically permaculture in short is set it and forget it. Basically plant it and let nature do its thing in the very simplest forms. So what we're going to be doing here that definitely is also not permaculture besides growing it in a bag is I'm going to be doing a, basically what I'm going to be doing on this next step is a lot of tilling. In order to, to get out all the potatoes I'm just going to dump them out, take the potatoes out and then on the bag on, on the cardboard that this is on I'm just going to then dump it back in the bag and then uh, later on I'll start doing some additional conditioning of the potatoes and you know what it's San Diego I may even try to just grow another harvest because we can with our weather. All right, now that I got you guys a good bird's eye view, let's go ahead and dump this out and see what we got. Looking here at the plastic here, I don't see any any in the little plastic viewing section there, so I don't anticipate oh, all kinds of things, spiders, ladybugs, everything's coming out. Got some worms in there, so that's a good sign, but I am seeing like no potatoes. All right. I thought it was probably going to be a little bit better than this, but it's all good. Let's see what we got in here. Got lots of worms in here, actually. I'm wondering if the plants died off just because there were flat out no more potatoes in here. They were ate up already by the... Oh, here's one potato. All right. Up here's another potato. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera to make sure you guys are able to see the whole pile here. 
All right, after a quick look, it looks like you guys can see it. So let's go ahead and continue. I will say the soil feels really good, even though it's just chicken manure and everything else. It looks like we did get some other stuff in there. It looks like the worms have been doing some good conditioning. So got some rocks for minerals in there. So it looks like it's a little bit more diverse than I anticipated. Whoa, here's one. That's a pretty decent sized one. That's nice. I wasn't expecting to get one that big. That's real nice. And I kind of did this basket first because this is the basket that died off, uh, like I said, died off first. So I was anticipating this to be the lowest production. That's a really small one. Here's another small one. Up oh, here we go. There's a decent sized little one. Still little though. I am pretty, pretty excited to see how the soil is though. I'm gonna pull up a chair real fast. Got another small one. There's actually lots of worms in here. That's pretty, I'm pretty excited to see that. I feel like I'm starting to get to the main section here. I've just been plugging away at some of the smaller sections. So we're about to get into the good harvest for at least relatively speaking. Yeah, these are pretty decent. Those are pretty decent right there. I intend to keep this with the soil so we can keep the carbon content as high as possible. That's why I'm not, you don't see me trashing it. And I feel like we're now getting to some of the major part of the root section, getting lots of worms here. Got this one right here. All right, so this is what we got from the first bag. Not, not too bad, you know, pretty decent. Uh, it's definitely going in the ground would have been a lot better, but this is you know pretty good You know all things considering this is about what I was expecting with the exception of this big one I didn't anticipate I would be getting one this big. Let's go ahead and uh, clean up clean this up and then move on to the next bag All right, so just as a quickly friend, so just as a friendly quick reminder, this is the one that lasted, had its foliage the longest. And as soon as I opened it up, this might be a good side, or this might be the only one. But we already got a pretty decent sized potato right off the bat, basically just rolled on out. So let's go ahead and go through it and see what we got. But I can already tell that I'm pretty. The soil on this one appears to be doing just as good, if not better, than the other one. And I'll have to say that, you know, thank God to the worms because they are just like nature's best gardeners. Got another nice one here. Oh, I see another one, but we'll go ahead and slowly, simply through go all this to make sure that we get all the small ones too. I will say the fertilizer feels maybe a little bit more um, raw than the other one. This one seems a little bit more wet. Uh, I don't know that that may have contributed to why this one appears to be doing better already or not. And when I mean wet, like less composted. So far, it seems like I've had bigger ones, but it, maybe it's about the same amount. So it looks like the not getting as doesn't appear that I got as many potatoes so far. It just seems like they're better quality, which I'll take. Oh, that's a good one. And then as soon as I say that, I start getting a few extra. So overall, it appears to be doing better than the other one. Let's just keep going down the rabbit hole and see how much better.
All right, I think we're done with the harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up real fast and we'll take a look at how each bag did. All right, so not too bad. I put a potato about this size or maybe a little bit bigger in each one of them. And this is the amount of potatoes that we got from each bag. This bag being the one where the plants died off the soonest. And then this one being one that basically died off as we are harvesting, finishing dying off, I should say. So you can see how much of a difference sun nourishment assisted this side compared to, you know, this side. I was actually pretty impressed to see how well the worms turned that soil into some high quality soil going through it it felt just right felt like some high quality soil and so i think what i'm going to do over the next week or two is figure out how i'm going to go ahead and increase the carbon content maybe some additional nutrition i might even just go throw a whole thing of worm casting in the mix and just you know let it do its thing but i do think i'm going to go ahead and push the san diego weather climate i should say and throw in another potato and see if we can't get another round of potatoes before winter time all right, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Again, I just wanted to kind of keep it short and sweet for you guys and give you guys an idea of the success or partial success of my potato harvest. I mean, I did receive more than I put in, so that in its own at least is a success. But uh, besides that, I'll be getting back doing some of the uh, normal garden vlog. I'll probably get another one out uh, maybe in about a week from today. But at the end of this week, I'm going to come out with an announcement for you guys, show you some temporary changes for the channel I got coming up, at least you know for those that are subscribed and watch this uh, channel frequently uh, I want to talk to you guys about some things coming up but besides that you know I'm pretty excited at this point to go in and see how these potatoes are tasting but anyways thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one